Hello everyone, this is Srikant, working as STM professor in electrical department. Here we have some analysis on mutually coupled magnetic circuits. So mutually coupled magnetic circuit means so when two inductors coupled mutually, then what is the analysis? What is the currents? What is the voltage for that circuit at particular branch? Okay, we will check it now. Here we have like small circuit. So here 5 ohms as well as 6 ohms. So not 5 ohms. Inductors. Which two inductors we have? 5 J as well as J6. Both are connected mutually with some 3 J. Okay. So here 2 inductors we have for this circuit. And they are connected mutually with 3 J. Now we need to find out the currents like low currents here or any branch currents or any like a uh, voltage drops you can your wish depending upon examiner now here we have two loops for these two loops we need to write the equation and we need to find out the values like mass analysis before moving to mass analysis we need to know what is the mutual inductance when they are connected mutually then what is the value of those inductors Okay, so here suppose two inductors connected series. So I already completed this topic on my previous videos. You can check it once. And here my two inductors connected series. Now I need to find out the what is the equivalent inductance. So generally they are connected series. So two and three. So we have the equivalent value L1 plus L2 equal to five. But here they connected mutually. Suppose they connected mutually, when mutually analysis means they have some dots. Dots means directions. Direction means like positive or negative. Now we have two dots, they connected mutually with one, one J. Now what is the equivalent value? So for this, we have formula when two are series, then both are same direction, same dots. We have the formula L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So we already discussed this topic. Please watch once again. Okay. Now we have 2 plus 3 plus 2 into 1. So totally we have 2, 5 and 7 Henry's. Okay. Which were Henry and Millie Henry. Now this is like small introduction about when they are connected mutually. Now coming to here, I have 5J and 6J, they are connected mutually with uh, 3J and dots direction are the same. So, both dot direction is the same. Now, I need to write the equation for two loops using mass analysis, like your Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, what is the voltage drop here? What is the voltage drop here? And what is the voltage drop here? So, we need to know the voltage drop for particular elements. So, for this, I have small logic. Just remember this logic and you will get the answer. Okay. Now, so when not only mess analysis, you are not answer also some logic. So for mess analysis, you can use this type of logic, you will get the simple result. Okay. So I will go through like past loop. So for past loop, my circuit is so this is my circuit voltage source I have and uh, some capacitor and some inductor. So for this loop, for this loop I have the voltage source. So voltage source, negative and positive. Okay. Then I have like a capacitor 4. So he given like direct minus 4 J. So you can no need to write like again minus in your equation. And here we have like a J5 ohms. And here this is 12 angle with 0. So this is my loop one elements so when loop one means only one loop means we have only one current so you can write like this also so each element have only one current that is suppose i1 okay so it 12 volts i have i1 and capacitor i have i1 and inductor also i have i1 and here we have one more 
the phi j is mutually coupled with another element so it is mutually coupled with another element okay and that element also dot direction same so don't worry about that element value okay there we need to worry about the current value so at another element we have i2 current so here phi j coupled with the 6j so 6j ohms now here we have i2 value okay and at uh, voltage source i have only one current at capacitor i have only one current at 5 ohms also we have only one current if suppose your circuit your circuit is like that some capacitor some supply okay some resistor or inductor okay and now here they connect in mutual then for this we have loop 1 and loop 2 so here for this inductance we have two currents so loop 1 current as well as loop 2 current for this inductor for this inductor we have two currents coming to here Coming to here, they coupled mutually, but at phi j we have different current, but we don't have like i2 current. At coming to 6j, we have only i2 current, we don't have like i1 current. So both are coupled mutually, but not in both loops. Okay. So phi j we have only one loop, 6j we also have only one loop. So we need to write like only one current values. Coming to this circuit, coming to this circuit, we have for this inductor we have two currents for this inductors we have two currents okay then apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law and write the equation for first loop so for first loop we have these elements and the phi j is coupled with the 6j and 6j current is i2 current then write the values here so for loop 1 we have the voltage source so 12 angle with 0 equal to 12 angle is 0 equal to here we have capacitor and inductors both are connected series both are connected series so when generally resistor and inductor connected series then we have r plus j xl okay so this is r and this is like l then we have the r plus j xl when the resistor and capacitor connected in series then r minus j x c okay and same thing when we have the resistor and capacitor and inductor connected in series then we have r plus j x l minus x c okay and same thing here we have capacitor and inductor so capacitor and inductor connected in series then we have xl so you given that xl value so j phi and xc value you given that minus so again no need to write the minus value okay so minus minus to minus will get the plus answer that is a real wrong okay now we have only minus 4 j4 value into which current we have that is i2 so i1 current okay just observe clearly for past loop we have only one current we don't have any other current but which phi j we have that is mutually coupled with another element so we need to write the mutually coupled value so no need to write the i2 value why means they are not in closed loop okay so this is a separate loop this is a separate loop now for capacitor and inductor we completed the with i1 value so voltage law we completed now coming to coming to like a your inductor phi j coupled with another value coupled with another inductor that mutually j3 ohms mutually j3 ohms then we need to write the that mutually coupled value so that is like inductor inductor both are connected mutually suppose suppose mutually coupled then your values is depending upon L1 suppose here L1 and L2 so L1 plus L2 plus 2m so this 2m is will get like this so L1 plus 
m so l1 plus m means this l1 total one more l2 plus m l2 plus m is this total so l1 is original value and mutually coupled value so which is mutual coupled value so this is suppose m means l1 mutual coupled with l2 so when two dots when two dots is same means will be the plus value when two dots is reverse suppose my dot is here reverse then we will get like minus here also minus okay this is like series condition now we have here 3j that means 5j or 5j is coupled with 6j with 3j so 5j is coupled mutually coupled with 6j the value is 3j now the direction is both dot this direction is same place starting place now we need to write the value is j3 okay j3 is okay then what is the current we need to write the i1 current or i2 current so your 5j coupled with the 6j 5j coupled with the 6j so what is the 6j current so your 6j current is i2 current so we need to write the i2 value not i1 value so y means the 6j which value we have coupled with value that value is loop 2 current so we need to go for the loop 2 current value j3 into i2 bar your i2 current direction is reverse check the loop so i1 direction is downwards and i2 direction is upwards but your dot is dot direction is same but your current direction i2 current direction is reverse i2 current direction is reverse so your value here not plus here so your value is minus see so your current direction is important your dot direction also important but your dot is plus your dot is plus but the direction current direction is reverse so we need to write the minus value so from this equation we have j5 so not j5 so even solve directly so j5 minus 4j we have like only 1j so j i1 okay minus j3 i2 so that is your loop 1 equation okay so we know this is your loop 1 equation coming to loop 2 so for this loop 2 my circuit so we have only one inductor and one resistor that's it and here we have the 12 ohms and here we have like a j6 ohms and dot is here and the direction current direction we have we have only one current so here we have only one current that is i2 current now for 6 ohms for j6 ohms we have only one i2 current or we have any other current so for 6j we have only one current not two currents same as your 5j so 5j also we have only one current not two currents okay suppose this is my circuit then we have two currents okay so like these circuits okay we have two currents but here the two inductors they coupled a and with mutually like 3j and we don't have like same currents here we have different current here we have different current 5 5j we have different current and 6j also have different current now the 6j is mutually coupled with another inductor that is 5j and the mutual value is j3 clear now the dots dots is same but the current direction when dot is their current direction is this is your current direction but now the direction is loop direction is reverse your loop direction is reverse that is your i2 direction so when i1 so that is downwards so we have the same i1 and i2 direction is reverse i2 direction is reverse 12 to 6 12 to 6 now write the equation okay now we have like a we don't have any voltage source so 0 then 6j and 12 so i am using like loop 2 so loop 2 the inductor and resistor so when inductor and resistor in series we have r plus jxl so 12 
plus j 6 ohms into your so no need to write the ohms here into your i2 current okay so up to the here this is clear now coming to 6j it's mutually coupled with 5j so mutually coupled with 5j so we have 3 j3 ohms now let's observe j3 ohms is there plus or minus so it's plus or minus so j3 ohms is minus y means the current direction so 5j current direction and you are mutually coupled the directions both are reverse so when the dots is same position and your current direction suppose this is your current direction if suppose so loop to direction is this is your loop to direction okay then the we have like plus values so not minus values when you dots also same your current direction also same so then we have the plus value but your current direction is reverse so your current direction is reverse so we have minus j3 ohms into i1 current or i2 current so the mutual coupled with 5j so 5j current is your i1 current so that is your i1 value so this is your loop to e equation if solve two equations you will get the two unknown values it's very simple you can use any method okay you can use Kramer's rules method or you can use like general method with method you know okay now i will write i will go for two methods just uh, observe clearly so 3 j3 i1 equal to 12 plus j6 i2 so i1 equal to you can write like 12 plus j6 by j3 into it. so this is like i1 equation now for this i need to solve in polar to rectangular and rectangular polar you can use like polar to rectangular and rectangular polar and solve this equation then your i1 value so i1 value in form of i2 so you can use the calcium and find out the value directly uh, here 12 12 plus j6 we have we can convert in polar 12 plus j6 we have like 13.41 6 angle with 26.56 by 3 angle with 90 into i2 you can divide directly now so 13.416 divided by 3 the value is i1 value is 4.47 okay angle with minus so 26. Point 5, 6 minus 90. So, divide, and when the angle is division position, we need to go for the subtract those values. So, 26.56 minus 90, the value we have like minus 63.44. Then, your I1 value in rectangular form. So, your I1 value in rectangular form. So, 4.47 angle with minus 56. So, not 56, 63.44. So the value is so 1.99 we have so I will write like 2 2 minus so 3.99 is there I will write like 4 j4 value this is your i1 value so in uh, polar form in rectangular form okay now coming to i1 substitute in your equation 1 then we will get i2 value which I value we have now so 12 angle with 0 equal to j into your i1 value so what is i1 value 2 minus j4 okay minus j3 i2 then your value you can solve directly here we have the i2 value don't forget the i2 value so i2 is common the i2 value then uh, j and here we have the minus into minus where the plus j will get a 4 4 and j so we have 4 minus j into i2 this is 12 angle 0 so just observe here 2j will get like 2j and here 
j into j, we will get a minus j. So minus into minus, we have a plus. So j coming to like j notation, we will get like minus 1. So minus 1 into minus, we have a plus. So 4j. 4 and here we have minus j3. So plus 2j and minus j, we will get like only j. Okay. Now from this, we have the value of I2, I2 equal to 12 angle with 0 by 4 minus j. Then again convert into polar form. So 12 angle with 0 is as it is and polar form 4 comma minus 1. The value is 4.123 angle with uh, minus 14 point zero three. So the value of I2, I2 equal to 12 divided by 4.123, the value is 2.91 angle width, angle width. So here minus we have, we'll get like plus 14.03. This is your I2 value. That means loop 2 value. So substitute in your so here we have the I2. So don't forget the I2 value here into I2. Okay. Now substitute I2 value in this equation directly. Now your I2 value. So I1 value is so 4.47 angle width minus 63.44 into your I2. I2 is 2.9. 1 angle with 14.03. Then your I1 value. So your I1 value is so both are in multiple position. That is very simple. 4.47 into 2.2.91. So the value is 13 point something is there. I will write 13 angle width. So angle width. So both angle when the multiplication position we need to add both values. So minus 63 point 4, 4 into so not into plus 14.03 the value is minus 49.41 apps okay so this is your i1 current this is your i2 current so this is one method simple method and you can use the kramer's rules also using using kramer's rule you can find out the this i1 and i2 values we'll check it now using kramer's rule uh, it's very simple so two equations which we have like loop one loop two equations are just uh, writing matrix form here 12 angle with 0 and 0 both are equal values equal to we have i1 i2 values so loop one i1 i2 values is j that is a i1 value j and minus j3 that is your i2 value same thing from loop two i1 value is minus j3 and i2 value is 12 plus j6. This is the two values i1 and i2. So i1 as well as i2 values. So two equation, two unknown values I need to find out and write those equation in matrix form for Kramer's rule. Now for Kramer's rule we have a small formula that is del of delta 1 by del of delta is nothing but your i1 value. Same thing del of delta 2 by del of delta is your i2 value. Here what is the del of delta 1? What is the del of delta 2? Same what is the del of delta? So for del of delta that is your virginal matrix. So which matrix we have using i1 and i2 values j3 as well as 12 plus j6 this is your delta matrix and delta 1 matrix is we need to remove the i1 values so we need to remove the i1 values and write the equal values 12 angle 0 and 0 so i remove the i1 values so i2 value is as it is coming to delta 3 so delta 2, the matrix is and it remove the i2 values. So i1 value is for delta 1 and i2 value is for delta 2. 
So delta 2 is and remove the I2 value means I1 is as it is. Here to our angle 0 and 0. Okay. Now go for like del of delta. So for del of delta your values that is your cross multiplication. Okay. Uh, so cross multiplication both values del of delta. So you draw it like del of delta equal to j into 12 plus j6 okay and minus minus or minus we have a plus but we have minus j3 into j3 so minus j3 and minus j3 so we have a minus minus values same for delta 1 del of delta 1 it's 0 we have 12 angle 0 into 12 plus j6 and coming to here del of delta 2 the values it's 0 so minus into minus with the plus value you will get so j3 into 12 angle j okay now you solve this equation for delta 1 maximum in form of polar to rectangular and rectangular polar so if you have like a rectangular form to some difficult so you convert into polar form it's very simple to find out so here we have 12 j and minus 6 j so 12 j minus 6 j and here we will get like again plus 9 so minus into minus with a plus and my j into j we have the minus 1 so minus 1 into 1 we will get like plus so j 12 minus so again here we have the j into j where the minus 1 minus 1 into 6 here we have the plus 9 so you can write in your polar form that is 3 comma so 6 minus 6 plus 9 so 3 3 comma 12 the value is 12.36 angle with uh, some 75.96 and uh, coming to delta 1 for delta 1 so you just convert convert the value which you have 12 plus j6 so polar 12 comma 6 12 comma 6 we have like a 13.41 angle with 26.56 so your delta 1 value is your delta 1 value is so 12 into 12 into 13. 4 1 the value is a uh, 160.92 angle with 26.56 so here angle 0 here angle is 26.56 so we need to add both values we will get this and coming to here delta 2 del of delta 2 value is this is 3 so we will write like 3 angle with the 90 so 3 angle with minus 90 not plus 90 otherwise you can check it in your formula 0 comma my 0 comma 3 so 3 angle with 90 okay and we have into 12 angle with 0 so then your value your value is delta of delta 2 is so 12 into 3 that is 6 uh, angle with uh, 90 okay now we have all delta values del of delta values then write the i1 value it's very simple so del of delta 1 by del of delta 1 by del of delta so my value 160.92 angle with 26.56 by 12.36 angle with 75.96 so your value 160 divided by 12.36 so that is 12.9 4 angle width so here both in division position so we need to subtract those values so 26.56 minus 75.96 uh, the value we have like a minus 49.4 so same as your general which you saw previous case 
So for same 12.94 angle with 49 point something. Okay, now here for I2 current. So I2 current we have same 36 angle with 90 divided by 12.36 angle with 75.96. Then your I2 value. So 36 divided by 12.36. My value is 2.91 angle with same 90 minus 90 minus 75.96. So we'll get like same answer that is a 14.0 something. So for previous case, which answers we have? Using Kramer's rule also, we get same answer. Okay, main thing is we need to write the equation. So, the loop one equation as well as loop two equation. Okay, so just I will give a glance here. So, for loop one, we have voltage source, capacitor, and inductor. But this inductor not connected with the loop two. So, we have only one current at 5J, and but it's coupled with some mutual coupled some value. Now, for this, we have Capacitor and inductors both are in series for I1 current. So I write the value that is a J and coming to I3J for 3J the value for 3J the value is coupled with J6. So 6J. The 6J current is I2 current. So here I need to write the I2 value. But your I2, I2 current direction and your I1 current direction both are reverse. So we need to write the minus value. So here also we have the minus. And for second loop, I1. That's I1 value is also minus. Okay. So next video, I will go for the one more problem. Okay. Keep watching my videos. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.